it's Brie Simulated here. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today we're going ahead and playing the 100 Baby Challenge Part 82. So as you can see, we have a little bit of a visitor at the door. Over here is Lionel McClelland, I think is how you would pronounce his name. So we're going to go ahead and invite him on in and we're inviting him in because we know that he is our across the road neighbor. He lives over there and we know that he is roomies with old mate Jeffrey. And we're going to say, hey, like Jeffrey and I, we had a really lovely time the other day and we had a good day. And I'm just wondering, like, have you seen him at all? Because I'm getting really, really worried about him. I haven't seen him in ages. It's been like what? It's been like almost nine months at this stage because she obviously got pregnant and gave birth since he's been missing. So we're going to be like, hey, like, yeah, have you seen him? And he's like, no, I haven't. I think he might have uh, might have gone ahead and went home to his family. I know that his mom was unwell, so maybe he's there and he isn't replying to his phone calls. Maybe he like doesn't have enough money to pay his phone bill. I don't know. I'm sure he's okay. I've just got a feeling that he is okay. And we're like, yeah, I do too. He was always a really smart man. He would have never got himself into any trouble. I'm sure he's absolutely fine. So we're just over here chatting with Liano and we're just getting to know him a little bit better. And maybe we'll go ahead and say to him, you know what? Yeah, I was really close with him and I'm really missing him. And I'd really appreciate it if you could just go ahead and spend some time with me today because I'm just feeling really, really lonely. And he's like, of course I will. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. Okay, we're going to obviously go ahead and seduce him and then lock him in our basement. Or well, I'm thinking maybe turning this room just into like a basement entrance. I know it can be kind of hard to make basements when you have foundations. It kind of does mess things up a little bit. But I'm seeing if maybe I could make it work somehow. I'm not going to do that anytime soon, but I was thinking what we could do if we did that was make there be like a tunnel in between here and like the baby area. Ooh, obviously you could get to all of it, but you know what I mean? Straight into the baby's area. And then go ahead and make like a love room down there. We need to go, oh, he's feeling tired. We're gonna be like, hey, well, if you're feeling tired, how about we head on up to my bed? It is getting kind of late. It really isn't that late. Let's go ahead and try for a baby with Lionel. And then we need to go ahead and take a photo with him. So we'll go ahead and do that. Woohoo, she's feeling hot and heavy. Let's see if she is pregnant. Is she? Is she? Is she not? Is she? <gasps> Failed to conceive. Grace is not pregnant. Oh no, we need to go back in here and get this guy. Oh, he's asleep. Wow, they never sleep. Okay. Um, how should we do this? And we're going to go ahead and try for a baby with him. Ew, he's already naked. Gross. He's like, I knew you were just playing a trick on me. I'm like, yes, that's exactly what we were doing. <gasps> oh my goodness. He really needs to shower after this, my dude. I hope he does because that is stinky. Okay. After this, we'll go ahead and maybe just do it one more time just to make sure that she is. And then we're going to go ahead and age them on up into toddlers because we did get the notification for their birthday. So, oh, she's feeling kind of paranoid. She, maybe she's freaking out about the about the babies aging up. She's like, is it really time for them to age up already? Oh my goodness. So we're gonna go ahead and age on up little baby. I forget which one this is. Either April, oh no, it was Aspen. We're gonna age on up baby Aspen into a toddler. Yay, cute. She's a cute little baby or cute toddler. Oh, this room down here, like you would never guess that it's a basement, right? I think eventually I want to put in some false windows where they actually like connect to the upper level and make it look like there is some kind of situation going on there, like where natural light can come through. Wow, she has red hair. Wait, who has red hair out of them? Okay, well, we went ahead and aged on up the babies and they're both feeling kind of tired. So this is where we're going to go ahead and uh, put the baby down. You, need, you can go ahead and get yourself something to eat. She's going to go ahead and grab a bowl of cereal. Okay, yeah, so those doors are locked for everybody but Grace. The kids are in them, so I'm going to go ahead and get them to go to the potty before they go to bed. Nah, -uh, no playing with your tablet. It is bedtime. It's like 4 a.m. So they're going to go ahead and go to sleep. We're going to have some leftover brownies, I guess, and then in the morning, we'll go ahead and get them out, like make them go to the potty, bathe them, and then bring them in here to feed them breakfast. But I think for now, she definitely needs to go to sleep after that. It looks like the guys are sleeping, which is good. Oh, what's this? 
some Furium. Okay. Okay, so it is the next afternoon. Her mood is pretty good now. I've just had her being taken care of the garden. So let's go ahead and get her to take a pregnancy test. She did try for a baby twice last night, so hopefully it's positive. Yay, it is. She is pregnant. Yaha, she is eating for two. And it is time to head downstairs into the basement to our babies. So they're locked down here for a good reason. So they both need to go to the potty and then go ahead and grab something to eat. So we're going to have her head downstairs to go ahead and feed them. Um, so we had our power shut off, <laughs> as you can probably tell. So our power has been shut off, which is unfortunate, but it's life. You know what? It's life. So once these kids have gone to the potty, we're going to go ahead and put them into their high chairs. Let's go ahead and put down Aspen and then go ahead and put down April. And we'll go ahead and give them some food. They're both feeling very hungry. I know, I know. That's why I'm giving you um, some food literally right now. So we're going to go ahead and give her maybe like some ham and cheese sandwich. That sounds good. Oh, actually, no, we shouldn't do that because she's a vegetarian. She wouldn't have ham. Let's go ahead and do peanut butter jelly. Okay, they're both going to get fed in just a moment. Don't you worry. We're not going to let our children be taken away. Go ahead and give her a peanut butter and jelly as well. And can we not do it over here? Is this one too close? No, it's not. Okay. They're going ahead and eating. So I guess she should go ahead and grab something to eat as well. Maybe just some leftovers. And then after this, I'm just going to let them get out of the high chairs and play in here and socialize and whatnot. Those look like two different sinks. Wait, yeah, they are two different sinks. Why do I buy two different sinks? Number one, why do I have two sinks? And number two, why are they different? Why did I do that? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one. I think I might have just been like picking between two and then I accidentally left another one there. Oh, you're over here playing with the toys. They did get some toys for their birthday and I put them into the toy chest, so. Okay, guys, it has been absolutely yonks, but we can finally go ahead and pay the bills. And as you can see, she is ready to give birth at any second. Oh my goodness, it is so hard to pay the bills. And I have made the like executive decision that I turned off thunderstorms and blizzards because it is just too hard to have outdoor furniture when you have thunderstorms. Like, this ish is expensive. I can't be replacing it every single day. Like, it rains so much in Brimson Bay, which means that when you have thunderstorms enabled, it pretty much thunderstorms almost every time it rains. And it is way too hectic. Our clothesline broke, our uh, play area broke, and also patchy but somehow patchy is still able to kick it so fine by me but i was so upset when i saw patchy died but then i saw him walking around so i wasn't really that upset but they're not taking patchy from me okay she has gone into labor see it's so stressful that she went into labor so we're gonna head down here it looks like oh are you having an, a nap were you really that tired okay the kids need to be fed after this so yeah i'll just have them bunk down for a bit and i'll have her feed them after this they're actually pretty close to having their skills all to level three, which I've never really done before. So if we do that, that means we can go ahead and age them on up early, which I haven't done before really with toddlers. I was reading back over the rules and I think like there are some of the rules that have definitely been updated since I started, but I'm just going to stick to the classic rules that I've been doing. But one of the rules that I, I knew about, but that I totally have never really done before is the fact that when you have a toddler get level three, you can age them up. I usually just wait it out, uh, but yeah, we can go ahead and age them up soon, hopefully. So it is a boy. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and name him Jack, which was a name left by Stephanie. And a little baby girl. I'm going to go ahead and call her Jessie. Uh, I want all the kids to have same letter names, like I think I did in the first part. Last round, I really didn't care about their names very much. I just went with the suggestions and like didn't try and match them all the time but oh my goodness she looks so happy to have this little baby oh my goodness honey it's gonna be hell don't you know so um there we go we had our two babies uh yeah so thank you for the name suggestion stephanie and the other name i just like came up with because i want them to match like j and j and a and a and i will do the abc challenge eventually don't you worry um i'll do it Probably next year after I finish this, I'll give myself a good month or two break. 
But I think next year I want to do a lot shorter challenges. I have had some requests to do like certain challenges, but I'd much rather do shorter ones for a while since Not So Berry and 100 Baby were quite long. So if you do have any challenge suggestions, feel free to leave them, but keep in mind, oh my god, she's hungry, she's not even crying. Keep in mind I won't be doing any longer ones for a while. Can you get in here to go to the potty? Yeah, you can. Oh my goodness, let's look at her going through the doggy doors. Oh my goodness. <laughs> ah, that's so funny. Okay. Oh my goodness, it's so stressful. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and leave this part here because their needs need major tending to. And <laughs> I just don't think she'd be able to get pregnant in this part because she's in such a bad mood. But anyway, until next time, I hope you all have a very snazzy day and I'll see you all soon. Bye, guys.